I'm Scott M. Miller. It's Thursday, the 29th of September, 2022, and this is my vlog of daily life in Nicaragua, and today is pretty exciting for a number of reasons. First of all, it is early morning. I've been scrambling all morning to get out the door with my equipment because I'm heading to pick up April, and we are off to film the first episode of our new show, Central American Living, which we're hoping if all goes well, we'll air sometime next week. Now we're only producing a short, so don't look for a big complicated episode. We're trying to get the ball rolling. And we feel that the short format is gonna be the primary focus of the show because we wanna be able to show a lot of homes, a lot of apartments, a lot of things that you don't wanna necessarily dwell a lot on, but you wanna be able to see them and find them quickly and move from one to another and say, oh, what are, I'm interested in this place. What, what does it look like? But we will be doing longer format shows as well. But so that is this morning. As I was getting ready, I noticed before I left the house that the episode that went live today, which is the first walking around Esteli episode, the one that is 70 minutes long, holy cow, is doing really, really well. So thank you everyone who has been taking the time to watch that incredibly long episode because that was obnoxiously long, but I really like being able to get so much of Esteli for you guys. So that's really cool. So that is where I am right now. It's nine. 25 in the morning. I'm supposed to be at her place in a few minutes, but I'm pretty close. Buenos dias. And uh, just going past Desi Unaso now. For those who know it, we get breakfast here a lot. Can't really see it. I don't have time to stop and film it. Got to keep moving. It's a little bit warm today. Now, the big thing is this afternoon, the reason that you should stay and watch the show today, there is a major, major religious festival here in Leon today. And I've been invited by my attorney uh, to go and uh, actually partake in the procession with her. I'm told it's a little bit dangerous, not from a violence perspective, obviously that's not what danger means here in Nicaragua, but from a, oh yeah, we gotta get this dog. You don't often see a street dog with a t-shirt. Oh, he needs it though, he has a skin problem. That's very sad, but somebody's taking care of him at least. And um, the, the, so, I, so they're like, don't bring any money, don't carry a watch, bring your camera because we want you to film it for the city, but don't bring anything else so you can focus on the camera because people will pick your pockets. It's a big crowd and it's a procession. I'm like, okie dokie. But so I've got to meet over there downtown at 2.15. Procession starts at 2.30 and I'm going to do my best to film all of it for you guys because i'm actually going to be walking in the procession is my understanding so it's going to be a very very busy day of filming i let the office know that i'm gone all day and so that is where we are right now i'm going to head off to this first filming and uh see how it goes hopefully oh i just hit my microphone hopefully we have an awesome new hopefully we have an awesome new episode for you guys really soon on that channel all right, we're out in Fatima, and I didn't know we were coming out to Fatima, so I'm really excited about this. And we're looking at one of the real houses, not in Residencia Fatima, but this is Fatima proper. And this is absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna turn the camera around and do some walkthrough. We've already done our filming for Central American Living, so this is just my vlog content. Um, and so I'm gonna talk, but you don't wanna see me, you wanna see this house. So first of all, we are right on the park. We're gonna spin a little bit, and I apologize, I know how much it sucks. This is the southeast corner of the Parque Fatima. That is a beautiful, beautiful park. If you watch my Fatima episode from many months ago, I take you on a walk around the park. This has a nice front yard. It's gated in the front, I'll try to show that and we're gonna walk straight in, but look at these beautiful windows, giant windows. That is a private entrance for an office that used to be there. Big, big windows in the front. All of this, lots and lots and lots of open air and space. This is a very complex place to show, so I'm gonna do my best to be able to show it to you. This is the front salon, and we're gonna do as much as I can a walk through. I believe that's a small bathroom. We have this room with the window, and this room used to be an entranceway for a medical office. Uh, obviously, you don't have to use it for that. And it comes right into the kitchen. Good sized kitchen here, Eden kitchen. A little bit, look at this beautiful atrium just beyond. And look at this dining room here. And this is a seven bedroom with multiple atriums, lots and lots and lots of space. They're closing up some of the rooms. I'm gonna pop in really quickly. This is a large bathroom here. Let's check this out. This is the shared one towards the front. 
Sorry for having to pop in and turn the lights on. It took a little while to get to this. And uh, so good sized bedrooms, and they all have windows into atrium spaces inside the house. So that's a really cool feature that these windows like this go interior, but there's so much open space that you can really do that. And it's like having an outside window, but with lots and lots of security. Little hallway here, gated area. Check this out. That is the garage that goes out to a non-private backyard. You can't, can't just let the kids loose in the backyard. This is a back little jungle area. Lots of space back here. This is the master complex. Not that huge, but quite nice. That is a queen size, not a king. Uh, and the bathroom is small but functional, suicide shower. But this is a walk-in closet, something you don't see too often here in Nicaragua. So that's pretty cool. This window right onto that atrium. I'll try to turn off the lights as we go. I did not adequately figure that out. If we come through here, this is actually another bedroom here with windows on two sides. It's like a utility area here, but this is the official laundry area. This is going to be really dark, so I apologize, but it just is dark back here. But there's a bed in here, lots of windows, and its own bathroom. And we're going to walk through on the other side. This house is actually built in separate pieces, which is really cool and just with an outside wall. Now this area is absolutely fantastic and goes all the way to the front. This beautiful wall, this table, obviously a new table is needed. Pretty much everything you see is another bedroom. So all the windows in different areas, this garden is fantastic. That is where we just walk through on the other side. These are bedrooms here and then bedrooms here again. So that is a whole bunch of the bedrooms you can see as we go by, all with windows going into all kinds of different areas of the house. This is totally gorgeous. And then off of this side, we have yet another salon, a little bit more of a sitting room here. There's a lot of entertaining space here. If you want to throw parties, you want to host events, I got to turn around and show some of this because it's just so gorgeous. This is great. I hope you guys are enjoying this content because this is really cool. Obviously, we're going to do a whole lot more on Central American Living. This is April, my co-host of Central American Living, who's currently talking to our real estate guys and girls. And uh, this is amazing. Look at the view out the front here. And we're going to zip out and go out to the front again so you can see what it's like exiting the house. This is a lot of space. Back out and you can see the Parque Fatima over there. All right, I'm going to spin around one last time. Here I am. Okay, I hope you like the walkthrough. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to do with the GoPro and it's a little bit dark. Uh, but this is going to be featured on Central American Living. You're going to be able to see it in shorts and in a slightly longer episode, probably five to ten minutes, uh, where we talk about the area in the house. Uh, but I wanted to just do a flyby for the vlog because why have the same content uh, while we're waiting for everybody's a chance to record. Thanks for joining me. We're going to head on to another house now. All right, we're in our second house for the day. We're in a smaller, I believe, three bedroom uh, in the San Jose neighborhood of El Centro. So we're downtown now and there's this gorgeous patio. Of course, I'm going to walk past the camera here and let you guys see this house. Really nice back patio, great trees. It does need some shade to really be ideal, but you know, you do what you want with it. Got a laundry area over here and then a little spot to sit uh, or whatever, have chairs, but you'd probably want to do something else out here. So we're starting at the back and working forward. We have a kitchen, kind of a galley style kitchen, really nice work on the all over the place. They have these different styles of, of uh, barriers. One of the bedrooms here, its own bathroom. These are quite large bedrooms. You can probably hear the echo with the built-in closets everywhere. We're going to move forward. We have a dining room, we assume, area here. You can use it for whatever you want, of course. I love the style of the stuff right here. Very, very cool. We're going to see a big atrium there. But first, another large bedroom with its own bathroom and closet once again. All the bedrooms have these windows onto the outdoor spaces. This is gorgeous. So it would be a spot where you could put in a pool uh, but, or you could build, um, put in plants or have it open 
whatever you like. Lots of options in these kinds of uh, atriums. Got another bedroom here. Again, these are large, large bedrooms with really high ceilings. You probably can't tell, but that's a 12 foot ceiling uh, there. So a, a four meter ceiling, nice big showers you can see. We're gonna zip over Ava. We have the front salon as you come in from the street and a full garage here and a giant fourth bedroom right here. This is probably considered the master because it's at the front, uh, but it's hard to say. Uh, it has, a, has more windows um, and it feels like it is a little bit bigger. So we're going to go out onto the street so you can see where we are. This is the San Jose neighborhood. We're right across from the Ferreteria Roberto Reyes. And right down the street, I'm gonna zip down real fast and show you, this is the Iglesia San Jose, one of the really cute churches in town. Really adorable. This allows you to find us where you are on a map really easily. Very cute, and it's a unique architecture for the neighborhood. See what the neighborhood here looks like. And we're gonna zip back in to the house. There's the Ferreteria right there. And we're gonna do a quick forward to back in the house so you can see the whole thing. Okay, there's the one bedroom on the right. We are coming past bedroom number two. Still at the atrium. Dining room on the left, bedroom number three on the right. Coming into the kitchen. Bedroom number four on the right and the big back patio with trees. So a pretty nice house, really central. Four bedrooms, four bath is best. Yes, four bedroom, four bath uh, with really nice atrium space. Uh, and some neat details right in a great neighborhood in the middle of the city. But decent amount of airflow through through here. Uh, seems, seems very nice. So we're gonna head on to the next thing now. Okay, we're now in the Barrio Primero de Mayo, which one of my viewers asked me to come film some of Primero de Mayo, and I've not had a chance to get up here yet because it's a really long walk and I really have to schedule it on a day when there's not so much sun and I have a bit of time to do it. But we brought up the taxi today because uh, this is on the east side of the of the Paseo Real, so it's pretty far east, but it's not that far from El Centro, but if you're coming from where I am, it's pretty far. And uh, so we've been looking at houses and our third one, and as far as I know, the last one that we're gonna be looking at today is here, and I gotta turn this around so you can see the barrio a bit. When you see this house, you're gonna be like, oh, that is definitely the house they're coming to look at. This has got some, some style to it for sure. We're just waiting for uh, the agent to come with the keys and let us in. And we're gonna be heading in to show you this house here in Primero de Mayo. Uh, Mia Machia, is right. <laughs> gracias. All right, I'm filming another house. Hopefully we can do this before they fumigate. We're not having this one on the Central American show, but I'm gonna grab some of it for you guys. It is a six bedroom, is that correct? Yes. Six bedroom. So this is a small dining room right here. I'm just gonna, it's very, very dark. This is the living room. You can't see this at all. There's a garage area over there in the front. Say hi. <laughs> here is the kitchen. Oh, some lights. We got some lights. We're going to come back. So it's still extremely dark. So there's going to be all kinds of noise on this. You can see nice forward living room. Not sure what's back here. We're going to find out. Just a, that appears to be a bodega. And we're going to head up the stairs here. Now this is like I said, this should be a six bedroom and they are asking 350 per month here in Primero de Mayo. So you got a laundry area upstairs. This is actually quite nice. Imagine it without all the active laundry hanging over the stairs. Have hallway showers. It's like neat and the right furniture. 
Yeah, no, it's a nice space. Definitely paint and furniture needs an upgrade. Yes. This is another bedroom right here. Open windows to the front. You can't see anything because it's so dark. Awesome. And the upstairs living room. That's actually pretty nice. April does not know how to open the door, so we're stuck with there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we can't get out here, but... Kind of there is a balcony. There is, yeah. So we have a balcony here, if you can hear me, over the fumigators. They're going to fumigate in this building any second, so we're, we may have some problems there. But it's, a, it's actually a quite nice space upstairs. And uh, we have a bedroom here, and a bedroom here, and a bedroom down there, and two on this side, and then the one downstairs. Sure. All right, and we're heading down. This is. We are, yeah, we are heading out as the fumigation hits us. We're actually really lucky that we made it before they fumigated us. <laughs> And so there is the house. So it's a really quirky house and it would need a lot of work to be something you'd really be interested in. But at 350 a month, that's a lot of space and it's a nice area. Uh, so if you're looking for barrio living that's affordable with a lot of space and something a little bit different, it's a good example of just the, the uniqueness of the properties here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna head on. Oh, it's loud, I gotta head on to the procession. I'm gonna see you guys from there. The procession is really interesting. It starts at the Basilica in the center of Leon, and this is a really, really large cathedral. This is, this is absolutely huge. And uh, there wasn't that many people inside the, the church when it started. There was drums and like a shaman from Sutiyava and this huge uh, statue of San Geronimo. Uh, it's very interesting, but I couldn't get in and see that much. There was a good crowd, but it was way more people on the Plaza Mayor in Central Park than there were in the church. And so it was it was kind of interesting that the outside was so busy and the inside, all of a sudden there's millions of food vendors and, and all kinds of things going on. So this is not where it started. This has been going on all day. And when I got in, it was like all this drumming and music and it was like they're ramping up to something, but it took a really, really long time. And then very slowly there began to be this procession of San Geronimo through the Basilica. And it took a good 20 or 30 minutes to get him from one edge of the church to the other and then out onto the front steps where the statue oversaw uh, an entire country with representation from different cities and neighborhoods coming through and doing these presentations of basically the running of the bull uh, where, but these are paper mache bowls or something like that. They're, they're not real bowls. It's people wearing a bowl costume-ish thing and they dance wildly and they race at people in the procession and try to ram them. And the people in the procession have these big sticks and they whack at the bowl. It is weird and interesting. And uh, there's gotta be like so much meaning behind this that I have absolutely no idea what it, what it is. Uh, but it's a giant procession and so many bands and so many people, I mean, I'm guessing many thousands and thousands of people on the main plaza and the entire city is lined up to watch this as well this is not the only this is just where the procession starts this winds from the uh from central park all the way to the big church in sutiava which is i believe the oldest church in the city like this is this is an unbelievably long procession uh between the two city centers because sutiava is technically a different city uh, so this is epically big so once we were done in the plaza i ran along and got very far along in the procession and joined the procession so that I could film it from actually being in it. Uh, filmed some along the route and then we put the camera away because it was getting dark and I actually joined the procession and walked across the city with it. It was a really cool experience, very interesting. Uh, everyone warned me it was gonna be very dangerous. Not dangerous like people are going to stab you, which I mentioned, but you re they're right. You don't wanna be carrying anything you don't need. You are constantly being jostled. You're in a million people. Uh, everyone's drunk, you're getting run into. Even if someone didn't steal something, you're gonna 
drop something, get stepped on, get knocked over, fall over, get wet. If you get caught in the rain, you're gonna be completely soaked. Like you, you don't have a lot of flexibility in a crowd like that to do anything. So it's, uh, it was a really interesting experience. I'm very glad that I did that and such a cool look at Leon. For those who are interested in seeing more than I showed here on the video, I recorded a lot and I'm, I have the raw video over on my raw channel, which I will attempt to link so that you guys who are interested can feel free to hop over there and watch lots of it. But I'm glad that you were able to join me over here for this one. Very cool day. Very cool. All right, so this evening, uh, after the procession, I came home, and it was pretty late. Uh, I got home a little bit after 6, and I had left at about 1.30. So that's about four and a half hours that I put into the procession. It was pretty wild. And uh, I got home and immediately cooked for the kids because they wanted uh, food. Obviously, they had been at home alone pretty much all day because my whole day was booked, like just solid. Um, and Dominica is in Managua dealing with the shopping and stuff for the hotel. So it's just the kids and the dogs. So I had to walk the dogs immediately uh, and feed the kids. Um, and that was busy. And then um, April and Aldo wanted me to come out and hang out this evening because uh, we had a lot of business stuff to talk about and just plans and things and, and they're still working on a house. So we uh, went to De Umo uh, and hung out there for a little while, had a bottle of wine and uh, and I picked up dessert there for the girls. The girls had wanted, been wanting dessert from De Umo for several days and we tried and they were closed the other day and then we were too busy and didn't make it. So today, since I went there, I picked up their tiramisu for Liesl and the Oreo pie for Luciana and uh, I brought that back for them all on foot and then uh, April and Aldo went to uh, Rustic in Sutiava, which I had passed on the, par the parade route earlier in the day. Uh, so I dropped off the food, made sure the kids were okay, took care of the dogs again, and headed over to Rustic, where there was supposed to be a concert. However, right as they were setting up, they got like halfway through one song, and a torrential downpour came to the point where the roof at Rustic couldn't handle it, and there was water coming through onto the band, which they couldn't have on their guitars and drums and stuff. So they had to kind of cancel, and uh, we just hung out and had dinner at Rustic, uh, which was nice. It was nice to be able to hang out there. I haven't been there in quite a while. Uh, I think we went there with Cat, so that kind of gives you an idea of how long ago that was um, for a concert as well. Uh, and our friend Mark and his wife were, were also there. They were um, at another table all the way across, and he like texts me. He's like, hey, what are you doing at Rustic? I'm like, what? <laughs> it's... You get spotted everywhere here now. Um, just as you may have noticed, I got spotted in the crowd by one of our regular viewers that I labeled in there. Uh, Vladimir uh, Rojas was he just standing next to me in the crowd. And he's like, hey, Scott. And I'm like, <laughs> it's, Dominica's like, it's really creepy that you get spotted all over the place in so many different situations. She's like, I can't handle how many people know who you are. It's, it's more than I can handle. It's very funny. So that was our day. It was a very busy day. Very, very good. And happy to report that April and Aldo actually decided to take the house. So this isn't just a tour of a house that we were looking at. It is a tour of a house that they ended up getting. So uh, they will be moving in two days. Tomorrow's Friday they're moving on Saturday they have very little time to get ready uh, and uh, I'm gonna do my best I don't think they're gonna get to keep their apartment very long that they had um, so because the first is on I believe Sunday we're not gonna be able to get video of their old apartment which I was really hoping to get because it's a really interesting spot um, and and something you would not normally see in Nicaragua so we'll do our best to describe it maybe I can get some shots of the location and and something of the inside um, and we'll get some pricing information for you guys on that as well because it's definitely interesting what's out there in the city because there's there's so many things you would never guess uh, that are available um, and and in places you would never guess as well so that was our day it was busy so busy but I'm really glad we are starting to get some of this kind of content going it's really cool thanks for joining me please remember to like and subscribe leave your comments below ask questions, whatever you want to know. And if you'd like to support the channel, check the link below for buy me a coffee. And of course, check the link for going to see the entire procession. If you would like, share with your friends. I will see all of you tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was wondering what they were yelling about. I'm like, I'm sure there's no animal under me. They're fumigating in this house over here, and this is where it's coming out from the pressure.
April's attempting to hide in the taxi, but I don't think it worked. Did you manage to, to hide from the smoke? A little, but I mean, the, <laughs> the taste of the diesel. <laughs>